Hello guys, today I want to talk about Immortal Glitch once again. I've seen a lot of comments, I've seen a lot of questions, and I want to use this video to address all of those comments and questions. First and foremost, the most important question, does it still work? And the answer is yes. And I truly believe it's going to work up until they release a new major update, because I don't think there is a way for them to fix it without updating the game files. So, uh... My estimate is going to be working through this whole tower and through the next whole tower because it's going to be sorcery tower repeat from what I've heard. So use this glitch. Guys, I've seen so many people stuck in the tower in the battles which are so easily beatable with immortal glitch. This was question number one. Now question number two, how do you do immortal glitch? But it's pretty simple. In order to do immortal glitch, you basically need to have two characters uh, one character from each specific set set number one are the characters th that are actually gonna become immortal there is only three that can become immortal using this glitch first is aftershock tremor second is stun double johnny cage third is combat cop sonia there may be more but i haven't seen a single comments people finding anybody else combat cop sonia aftershock tremor stun double johnny if you have either of those 100% you can do Immortal Glitch. Second set of characters, it's a little bit more uh, complicated because there is a lot of options there. The one that, that I discovered first was Cosplay Jackie. After that, people told me uh, you can use, uh, let's say, Dark uh, or some Raiden Special 2. If you do the glitch with Raiden Special 2, you can do it with Cabal's Special... Honestly, I don't know. If you, if you go to the comments of my video, you can see so many different comments, people saying how to do it. There's so many different triggers, and you can actually test it out yourself. Let's say you have uh, a couple characters. Just go into Faction Wars, go into Battle Mode, go anywhere, and just start doing the glitch uh, with like their Special 1, Special 2, and see if it works. And if it does, then transfer it, the Snow Witch, to the tower. I can give you a few examples that I personally use myself and I know that they're working. Uh, by the way, uh, Cute Sylvie recently showed me that it works so well with a monk, with a bronze monk, and it actually does, so I'm using him now because, in my opinion, this is the best and easiest Immortal Glitch. Like, it literally never fails. With Jackie, it can fail sometimes because there is a very little... Uh, a room for error for like delay if you do it a little bit slightly out of time it will not work but with monk it's literally impossible to mess it up if you guys are struggling if it doesn't work for you with jackie then use monk it will work so well i'm gonna show you in a second how i do it uh so uh let, let me try to find uh a lot of people gave me a lot of different uh, ways to do it it's like it's 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 in a lot of different comments uh, in a lot of different videos, so it's gonna be impossible for me to find all of them. But I'm gonna give you a few examples. People saying it works with Jax. Not sure if special one or special two, but you can easily test it out. Again, guys, if it, if you're doing Immortal Glitch with any other characters than uh, I discussed in this video, please leave a comment so people who might not have these characters. But everybody has Monk. I mean, come on. If, even if you just started playing, you're gonna have Monk. But if you want to do it with a different character, there is lots and lots of different characters that can uh, initiate Immortal Glitch. People say you can only do it... Uh, you can also do it with Raiden and Cassie Cage. Raiden? Which Raiden? Classic Raiden? Oh, that would... That, that makes sense. You can actually try to do it with Classic Raiden. Now, another thing people saying that... Uh, can you get banned for it? And my answer is... Probably not. I don't see how can they possibly track if people are using this glitch or not. Because it's not using... It, it doesn't modify any game files. It doesn't do anything fishy. You literally just... It's something that can happen accidentally. It's something that happens pretty often if you face Aftershock Tremor in Faction Wars. Like, AI can do Immortal Glitch on accident. So it's something... It's something that I don't see they can possibly blame players and ban them. So I would say 99% chance you will not get banned for using this. I see a lot of people saying it doesn't work anymore. It does. I'm using it every day to climb the Fatal Twisted Tower. So don't tell me it doesn't work. If it doesn't work for you, try to do it with Monk. Monk never failed me. Now let me demonstrate how this works. 
Uh, basically, I'm at Battle 127 right now in the Fatal Twisted Tower. And uh, thank you so much, Sylvie, for introducing me to the Monk. You give him Wrath Hammer, so you start with one bar of power. And this is how this goes. You literally, as soon as the game starts, you, you click on Monk Special 1. Because it's a grapple, it will never fail. You click on his Special 1. And then, as soon as you do, click on Tremor. Q Tremor up for Tegin. And that's it. Immortal Glitch is done. You will never get hit for the rest of this battle. It's gonna take you forever to beat these bosses. Because, I mean, unless your Tremor or whatever character you're using is a god, I highly recommend putting Classic Reptile as your third character. Because every time they take in, they have a chance to get poisoned and take lots of damage. Now... Let's talk about the drawbacks of this glitch. There is not, not everything is so shiny and nice. There are certain battles where this glitch simply is not going to help you whatsoever. Those battles include off-balance battles, obviously, because the game will just forcefully tag you out, which, which doesn't, doesn't work well with the strategy. So off-balance battles, don't use this glitch. Uh, don't use it in dead zone, obviously, because nothing's gonna work in dead zone. All passives are disabled, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work if you're facing uh, Aftershock Tremor on your enemy team. I'm pretty sure he will tag out. I mean, there is a high chance he's gonna tag back, tag back your weakest character and ruin your strategy. Don't use it also against battles that have... Uh, I mean, you can still use it if there is like Slasher Jason, Unstoppable Jason, or Quan Chi, any form of resurrection. If there is any form of resurrection on your enemy team, it will it will glitch out and uh, the enemies will not resurrect. This also works in regular resurrection modifier battles. So do not... Like, you can still use it in resurrection. You can take your enemy down to almost dying, then tag out, uh, finish them off, and initiate a mortal glitch once again. It might be risky, but it might be the only way to beat that battle, so it's still possible. Also, it's not gonna work against Combat Cop Sonya, if, if there is Combat Cop Sonya on your enemy team, because she can forcefully tag you out. However, if, if you get insanely lucky, and Combat Cop Sonya tags next, you you manage to time it so she tags out your classic Reptile. Then you can do Immortal Glitch on her, and then you can continue as normal. So there's still ways to do it. I also think that in very powerful regeneration battles, it's not gonna work. Because, uh, because you just cannot out-damage uh, powerful regeneration. Like, I managed to beat all... all uh, Regeneration battles using this exact team, but you need to get so lucky. You need literally for poison to trigger uh, perfectly multiple times. You need to finish off one character. Th that battle took me like 20 minutes. It was insane, but it's still possible to do regeneration if you have strong enough immortal character that that can deal decent damage. And here we go. We just beat a battle easy peasy. Now, nobody has the question, but I'm still gonna answer it. Is this wrong? Should I do it? Should, or, like, isn't it cheating? Nobody asked it. I literally haven't seen a single comment. People are like, yay, cheating! But seriously, like, I don't think it's wrong because I think that, uh, in the, like, this tower is a scam. I got scammed by it multiple times. I got so much garbage from it, and honestly, if I can use uh, something to give me a little bit of an upper hand in it and give me a chance to get something better, like, grind little extra pieces of gear, I'll take it. I don't think developers deserve any kind of sympathy for what they're doing with the game. So if there is something to exploit that doesn't get you banned, I'm all for it, honestly. See, this is this is going to be easy too. Another situation where you can struggle with Immortal Glitch is if you're facing Dark Emperor Liu Kang on the first position. All you need to do in that case is... Uh, so there's two things I usually do. First, I would, give my, I would use my Jackie instead of Monk because she can take a few hits. Uh, I would give her Weakened Dead, which will allow her to have a shield show. So Liu Kang will do his things. Oh my god, I messed up my Immortal Glitch. I'm an idiot. Sometimes you just forget what you're doing and you're just starting to fight normally, which normal is not gonna win you anything in here. Yep, once this happens, it's just a quit. I forgot to tag to Tremor. I was just talking and I forgot.
What a shame, wasting tries. Well done, Star and Sky. You're you're the best. Look at that cybernetic arm, beautiful. Anyway, I was saying, so if there is Dark Emperor Lucian, you can either take his uh basically initial attacks on the shield and then continue to do Mortal Glitch, or just put your reptile on the first place, let him die, because he will still work even if he is dead. Fine. You let him die and then uh you just continue Mortal Glitch as usual. Don't forget to click Tremor before his animation finishes, otherwise the glitch is not gonna work. Now, do I think this glitch is gonna get fixed in the next update? Absolutely! They hate people getting free stuff, they hate people getting anything that can help them in their journey, in their game, because they don't want you to beat battles with Immortal Glitch, they want you to beat battles by buying their gear packs and getting stronger gear and beat battles that way. But apparently it's not important enough for them to release like a patch to fix it. I, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess it's gonna cost them more money to fix this glitch in the middle between the updates than to uh, lose money on not selling gear packs because nobody needs gear packs when you can just become immortal and beat the tower. Anyway, I don't know what they're doing in their company, it's, it's super weird. All I know is that this is the thing that can help you beat the tower. I managed to beat normal tower without using this glitch on my first run, but the second run I'm just taking it easy. I don't care, I'm just I'm just beating it. Look at this, this battle is gonna take forever. There is uh, Frostbite, there is Arctic Wind, I mean there's no Arctic Wind, there's just Frost, Frostbite is so annoying. But there's nothing they can do. If there is no healing involved in the, on the enemy team, there's nothing they can do. Eventually, 5, 10, 15 minutes later, they're all gonna be dead and I'm gonna be walking away as a winner. I think this strategy, especially if your immortal character is not very strong, only use this strategy when you tried any other strategy you know of, and you absolutely cannot beat this battle, because most likely, and I proved it in the normal Twisted Tower, most likely there is other strategy that's gonna make it much easier and faster to beat the battle. This strategy is like, it should be the last resort, because it's super boring, it's super long. For the most battles, it's gonna be five minutes plus. And it's just not fun. Have fun. Try to beat it. Try to beat it with skill and, and, and team composition and logic and your big brain. And if everything fails, then use this glitch. That's just my advice. That's how you keep having fun. Because if you just beat every battle with this glitch, it's just. It's just not going to be satisfying at all. Unless you like literally like the tower is ending and you want to get as high as possible. Then you just, I just don't want to waste tries, man. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. But my first run was absolutely legit on the normal tower. And I'm there is absolutely no way I can beat Fatal Tower. I'm not even going to try. I'm just trying to, to get a few last battles before the tower goes away. Doesn't matter to me whatsoever. Anyway... <laughs> This is Immortal Glitch, guys. Absolutely use it. There is no reason not to. When when the Sorcerer Tower comes, use it. Even though it's normal Sorcerer Tower. But if you're stuck in certain battle and it stops you from finishing, then use it and get through the battle. Why not, right? Let me beat this battle and see what I get. This is going to be the last one for this video. I haven't done it in my main account because... Well, there is honestly no reason to because I can... I can beat everything with my max diamonds. But on my beginner account, this glitch, like last probably 20 battles in Fatal Tower, I used it exclusively. It takes forever, but honestly, I'm, I'm just done with this tower. It scanned me so much, I'm not willing to put any more effort into it. Oh, that's gonna take forever, actually. Nobody's getting poisoned. Actually, I've been toying with the idea of even though Tremor is much stronger than Combat Cup Sonya, with Combat Cup Sonya, what you can do is you can spam her special too to constantly tag enemies in and out, which will allow them to get poisoned more often. So it might actually result in doing more damage overall than using like a stronger damage dealer as your mortal character. If I had, if I had one of the rare pieces maxed out that would give me 50% off special too, I would definitely do this strategy. If I could spam his special to like every five seconds, I would just tag them in and out. They would get poisoned. They would get absolutely destroyed and that would be beautiful. But be careful with poison. If you're facing the battle, like check your enemy's gear. If they have carnival swill 
oh, you don't want to poison those people, then take Classic Reptile out, because you're gonna, you're not gonna beat that battle if they're gonna be constantly healing. Oh, shut the frostbite into your tiny little frozen hole. I just realized it was shielded. I was doing special twos, and I was wondering why it takes forever. Pay attention to the modifiers. Another tip. If it's shielded, make sure you're using the specials that can actually damage your enemies. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Another modifier that can... Uh, mess with your uh, with the strategy is uh, injured if you cannot use special one I think one of those characters Cassie or Raiden uh, he can they can do this glitch on special too you should try it out try Jax Cassie and Raiden as, as immortal glitch starters I'm doing special two again I'm just so used to it I literally my muscle memory just wants me to do special twos it's fine it's fine it doesn't matter I'm sure there's a way to start with special too. If you guys know the way, let 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 people know in the comments. Let's finish this tower. Let's get our gold Cassie cage. Let's get our hell spawn scorpion, and let's be done with it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, members of the Patreons, and goodbye.